Hey guys, it is finally March. I can't believe it's here. I don't know where February went, but I will take it because I am ready for spring. I think we all are. It's still a little bit cold here. We've had a few warm days, but it's also really cold sometimes and I'm totally over it. So without further ado, I wanted to share some of my favorite things from February. I feel like this month flew by I feel like I didn't even do that much in February. Like I was trying to think back of what my favorite things were for the month and I really couldn't even think of anything. I didn't really shop too much or like go out too much. So it was really hard to pull some stuff together, but I was able to and I'm ready to share it. Ow. Spit the crap. But fear not, I still have plenty of things that I wanna share from this past month. I don't know if anybody else feels the same way, but I wake up every morning exhausted. No matter what time I go to bed, how many hours of sleep I get, I wake up so tired. And it sucks, because throughout the whole day, I just feel my eyes getting heavier and heavier, and then I'll take blog pictures and my eyes are so puffy and it's terrible. So I have been testing out different methods of trying to get my eyes to get less puffy. I have tried sticking my face in a bowl of ice water. That didn't really work. I felt like I was drowning. I have tried sticking a spoon in the freezer and then putting it under my eyes. That worked a little bit, um, but it was also very cold. And lastly, I have started trying eye patches. And these have been a miracle worker for me. These are the Patchology Flash Patch Eye Gels. And I actually wanted these like a year ago. It's kind of crazy. I had been wanting to order them for myself and I just never got around to it. And my mom actually ordered a bunch of them one day. She found them online and I think there was a really good deal. So she bought them and I saw that they came in the mail and I was like, oh, can I try those? I've been wanting those. So she gave me a little box of some of the ones that she bought. So this is what they look like. It's kind of hard to see. So it comes in a little container like this. And then it also comes with this stick. And this helps you get the eye patches out and put them onto your eyelids. So this is what the eye patches look like. I don't want to get them out all the way because I don't want to waste them. I actually put these on my eyes a good amount. But they're just pretty good size eye patches. They go under your eyelids. I put some on this morning and I left them on about like 30 to 40 minutes. And I love all the ingredients in here. There's castor seed oil, lavender, peppermint, and all those good things that really invigorate your eyes and just feel energizing and just wake you up in the morning. The second I put these on, they feel so cool on my eyes and they really do help depuff them and it just makes me feel better throughout the day because I'm so self-conscious when my eyes are really puffy. So I think I've mentioned in past videos that I am pretty much like a creature of habit when it comes to perfumes. I have my set range of perfumes and I pretty much stick to those. But all of February, I found myself using the Aqua de Joya from Giorgio Armani and I just really like the smell of it. It kind of has like a masculine scent to it. It's very strong, a little bit musky and I just really like it. Usually I go for lighter, more florally scents um, but this is really nice and you just roll it on. I roll it on to my wrists, a little bit on my neck and I'm out the door. Um, it's a good winter scent. I probably will go back to my normal perfumes once it gets a little bit warmer, but I don't know. I just wanted to try something new out and this has been really good and it smells good and it stays throughout the day. So I'm a big fan of this. So I wanted to share a jewelry favorite too and I actually bought these in February and it's kind of ironic because they are the birthstone for February, but it is these Kendra Scott amethyst earrings. And I really love the shape of them. I haven't worn them a ton yet, but I'm going to. I actually bought these in anticipation of wedding season because my boyfriend and I are going to a lot of weddings this year and I'm trying to get prepared ahead of time. So I just thought these were really pretty. I thought they would go really well against my brown hair and just, they're a little bit different than what I usually get. I have a lot of gold and silver jewelry and I really liked this amethyst color. I don't have anything in that shade and I think they really pop against dark hair. I am extremely into lavender scented things. I just think it smells so fresh and it's so relaxing too. I know lavenders use a lot for like 
calming things and it's supposed to just make you cool down and like fall asleep and everything. So that is why I bought this Aveeno Positively Nourishing Body Wash and it is in the scent Lavender and it just smells so incredible. Oh my gosh, like it just makes you want to take a bath. It smells so good. It kind of smells like a baby um, and it just really is soothing and relaxing and I can't say enough good things about this. I use this all the time and when my boyfriend comes in town and visits me, he's actually started using this too because I told him, I'm like, you should try this out. It smells really good. It makes your skin smell really good and he started using it and he loves it too. So it's definitely boyfriend approved. I don't know if anybody else gets really dry skin in the winter, but my skin right now is like driving me crazy. It catches on everything. It's just like kind of bleeding and cutting and that sounds gross, but it's just really bad right now, especially on my hands. So I have been obsessed with the Lubriderm Advanced Therapy Lotion. And I can't say this is a February favorite because I've been using this probably for five years now. I first started becoming really obsessed with it when my grandma was using it and it smelled really good. It just kind of has that natural scent. It doesn't really, I don't even think it has a scent actually. It smells really good. It just has that lotion, like fresh, clean smell. And it goes on really smoothly and nice. It doesn't feel like it's like caking on your hands. I feel like it absorbs into your skin really nicely. And this is for really, really dry hands. So if your skin's really dry, you have to try this. It is a miracle worker. I put it on before bed and I wake up in the morning and my skin feels so smooth. I mean, it's still a little bit dry. It gets dry throughout the day, but this definitely helps. And it just feels good on your hands. When you have cuts and dry skin like that, it never feels good and this helps alleviate that. So like I said earlier in the video, I did not go shopping all of February, which probably doesn't sound very exciting, but for me, that's a big deal because I tend to go shopping a lot. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm gearing up for spring fashion and I still wanted to include something fashion related in this video. And it is this Marciano pink coat. And this is actually my mom's coat. I got this for her for Christmas. I wanna say maybe eight years ago. It's been a long, long time. It has held up amazingly. It's just kind of like a longer coat. It has these big pink buttons too. The lining is really pretty. It has all these little M's. And I don't even know if this brand is still in business. I know it was like a guest brand. Um, we used to have a store at our mall. But yeah, my mom was like obsessed with this coat like back in the day. So when we went Christmas shopping, I told my dad, I'm like, we should get this for mom for Christmas. So I have actually been wearing it a lot, even though she wears it too. But I just love statement coats. I love colorful things, especially this time of year when you're wearing like a lot of dark colors and neutrals. This really helps pop. I just love color. So this has been, worn by me a lot of the time lately because I just love it. It's easy to throw on. It's actually not too bulky and not too thin. It's like the perfect coat for this time of year just because our weather has been so crazy. So thank you mom for letting me wear this all the time and it's really comfortable. It goes with all my clothes and I really like it. So good job guess. So since I really didn't do a ton like fashion wise or socially this month, I wanted to try to think of other things that I really used a lot in the month of February. And I started thinking and I was like, oh, why not share an app that I've really been loving? So I wanted to talk about a color story and it is an app by the girls of A Beautiful Mess. And this is what the app looks like. And it's just a very clean cut app. You can pull up all your pictures and they have really amazing editing tools. Um, they really help you kind of saturate your pictures, make them bright and use a lot of contrast. And they have a lot of great filters too that kind of help you get a start on editing your pictures. So basically you take one of your pictures, you can press continue and there's all these different tools at the bottom. So they have filters that you can choose from. There's all these different filters. You can pay for some of these and there's also some free ones too. So 
So they have all these different filters that you can choose from and it's really cool. I've been using a color story for a lot of my pictures lately and I just love how they turn out because you kind of have an idea in mind of what you want your dream picture to look like and this really helps bring it to life. I've been really impressed with it. I know a lot of other bloggers have been using this app too. So kudos to A Beautiful Mess because it is really hard to find the perfect picture editing app. I know I have a ton of different apps in my phone and I've kind of used like a bunch of different ones each time I try to edit a picture. In this, you really only have to edit it one time in a color story and you are good to go. So that is everything for my February favorites. I know it wasn't a ton of stuff, but I really didn't go shopping like I said this month, which I think is a good thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. This is a great mirror.